Hello friends, welcome back to program with Akshay and this is the continuation of our AWS CDK masterclass. So this is the part part 9 of our CDK masterclass. In this in this part we are going to see how we can create an S3 bucket and how we can create lambdas and how we can assign those permissions to S3 bucket where our lambda can read and write the operations in the S3 bucket. So we will see how to upload an image into an S3 bucket through AWS Lambda. So we are going to give the permissions to AWS Lambda for reading and writing those images in the in the in the S3 bucket. Okay. So let's start. And after this masterclass from the part tenth, we are going to create projects with AWS CDK. Okay. So let's start with our implementation for creating s3 bucket so to create an s3 bucket okay i have created a new folder in my e drive or f drive you can create your new folder in e drive and f drive and after creating a blank folder you can go to the terminal and launch a new terminal and you can go to that path okay so first we are going to initialize our typescript application our aws cdk application so to initialize the, our application the command is cdk init app hyphen hyphen language and in this case is our typescript so this will initialize the app and this will bootstrap our application our aws cdk application which we have seen this this, this command how we can do it okay so this will install our node packages node modules folder inside our cdk project as you can see this is creating an npm install and this will create our whole whole project like uh, package.json or package log.json inside our s3 folder so let's wait for a minute after creating the folder we will create a new folder called as lambda and inside the lambda we will we will we will try to export that handler and after exporting that handler we will try to invoke that handler into our main s3 bucket example stack here and we will try to invoke that handler by uh, by by declaring those function and we will try to assign those properties okay so let's wait for a minute to to bootstrap the applicate aws cdk application so once we, we bootstrap we will create the respective folders in lambda so our application is created okay so let's try to create a new folder okay and inside the folder i will give the name as lambdas and inside the folder we will try to create a new file something called as app.js okay and inside the app.js we are going to create an handler so exports dot handler which is having an async function which is having an event and a context okay and which is trying to return something in this case we will try to return a blank string right now okay so blank string so our handler is been created okay now what we are trying to do we are trying to import this handler inside our s3 stack okay so this is our stack so let's try to delete the unwanted code and inside the stack we have something called as constructor and here we are going to try to import our handler so to import our handler what we will do we will create a new variable something called as handler and we will try to import our function okay and inside this we will try to give a name this and suppose you will try give a name to suppose new lambda for s3 lambda for s3 yes and it will have some properties where first we will try to import a function we will try to import function from aws cdk lib slash aws lambda now what we are going to do we are trying to uh, assign the properties okay like runtime then timeout and handler and code okay so why i'm getting this error okay we have something called as this yes and okay let's try to assign the properties first so runtime so runtime is our node.js runtime dot node.js latest one then we will try to assign a property called as timeout so timeout is 30 seconds you can specify the duration so i will specify the duration so duration it is duration dot seconds duration dot seconds this is 30 
and okay just a minute and then we will try to specify the handler here our handler is app dot handler and then we are going to specify the code so code dot from asset where it is going to have from the directory name right underscore underscore dir name slash dot dot lambdas yes so yeah and this is we are going to specify from path i guess quick fix add path yeah let's try to save it and again update the imports it will have the import libraries updated so we are trying to import this from aws cdk so the code which we are trying to import this code which is coming from our cdk lib slash aws lambda okay so this part is being already explained in my previous cdk masterclass okay so this is just a continuation how we are going how how i have created aws lambda in the in the lambdas folder and how we are importing this lambda in our stack okay so you can refer my my previous uh, video from this masterclass i will provide a link in the description okay now we are going to specify an environment name okay so in this in this case we are going to specify the region name okay and we are going to specify the thumbnail size okay so thumbnail size is mostly in mb so we will specify either 128 or 256 okay so let's go ahead and specify the environment okay environment and here which is having something called as region name. So you specify your region name to which your AWS CLI is associated. So my region is AP South one and South one. And we are going to specify the thumbnail size, correct? Thumbnail underscore size. So here in this case, I'm going to specify 128. Okay. So it is in double quotes i guess yeah and comma now the main part okay so we have created our lambda and we have updated our stack okay where we have imported our lambda inside our main stack okay so this lambda will get created now the main part is we are going to create an s3 bucket okay so to create an s3 bucket we will try to import the s3 first s3 bucket uh, libraries first so so to import s3 bucket library we have to write as import star as s3 from aws cdk lib slash aws s3 aws hyphen s3 yes so this will import all the libraries from s3 okay now the main part is we are going to create an s3 bucket okay so to create an s3 bucket what we are going to create what we are going to do we will try to create a a, a, a variable first okay so const new s3 bucket is equal to new s3 dot bucket and which will have this as scope and we will try to give a name okay so image hyphen bucket this is our name and which will have properties so the properties which we are going to specify is something called as removal policy so removal policy is nothing but when we try to dis destroy our stack okay so uh, once we try to destroy or we, once we try to type the command in the in our application cdk destroy so the whole stack will get dele deleted so this is the property of an s3 so this s3 bucket and uh, aws lambdas and, and and our other resources will get deleted so this is the property of s3 bucket removal policy okay the next the next uh, 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 policy which we are trying to import is is auto delete objects okay so once we try to delete any objects okay so we will set this auto delete uh, delete objects as true you can set it as, as set it as false okay so this is an another property for s3 bucket okay auto delete policy 
we will set it as true so yeah that's about it so this will create an s3 bucket okay and this will create our lambda and this lambda will get imported okay now the main part okay so the main part is right now we are going to give permission to s3 bucket so that our aws lambda will have those read and write permissions to 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 embed or to write the image or write the file into inside the s3 bucket okay so that is the main part which we are going to do okay so to do that we are going to create a policy something called as s3 yeah yeah we are going to import the policy something called as new s3 bucket dot grant read write to our handler so this is our handler name and yeah that's about it so we have given the grant read write permission to our s3 bucket to whom to our to our aws lambda okay to our aws lambda okay so let's try to save this uh, let me try to save this and let's try to deploy this application and let's try to see whether we have created our s3 bucket or not okay so to deploy it first we are going to do a cdk bootstrap okay to on the safer side okay so this will create an cdk out folder as we have seen in the previous previous uh, videos that's uh, how how we are creating the cdk dot out folder and how those uh, typescript libraries are getting compiled okay and how this typescript libraries are getting formed into our cloud formation template okay so first we will do a cdk template then we are going to synthesize our application and after synthesizing the application we will boot we will deploy the application okay so cdk synth just to check whether our formatting or our syntax is correct or not so this will synthesize our application and then we will try to deploy the application okay so let's wait for a minute i will pause this video and after the after after the completion of this command we will try to deploy this application so yes it is being deployed so let's try to deploy cdk deploy okay and yeah this will take some time to deploy the application okay so let me pause the video again and let's wait for a minute to deploy the application on my ap south south one region and after deploying we will see our s3 bucket so yes our cdk deploy is done and our deployment is being completed and hopefully we should see our bucket and new lambda being created so to see that we will go to our console and inside the console we will try to navigate to our s3 so s3 is a global service okay and inside the s3 if you can see there is a bucket is being created okay at this timestamp a new bucket has been created so right now we don't have any objects okay inside the s3 bucket so we are going to save a file or an image inside the s3 bucket and the lambda will be responsible to store this images and file inside the s3 bucket okay now let's see our lambda whether our newly created lambda has been created and yes we have something called as s3 bucket example s3 delete objects and this is our auto deleting object so this is the description and this is node.js and this has been created two minutes ago yeah so let's try to navigate this new lambda and this is the new lambda and if we see try to see the configurations and if we see the permissions yes and these are the permissions which attach if you see the s3 permission is attached and these are the permissions like get object about put object retention delete object get bucket list bucket so these are the permissions which we have assigned to the lambda okay so lambda so this lambda will be responsible or this lambda can have those 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 policies where he can read and write those files inside the s3 bucket so yes this is about all about how to create an s3 bucket inside our aws cdk account okay so in upcoming sessions we will see how to create an event notification okay and how to save those to save those images or save those metadata inside the dynamo db okay and we will create an rest api to list all the all those objects which are getting saved in our s3 bucket okay so going forward we are going to compile in 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 each and every uh session or each and every session into a project okay 
okay so this part will be will be the will 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 will, will be the next 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 uh, topic for our project okay where we have already created an s3 bucket we have already created a lambda so so the next project will be how we we will set up the event notification for our s3 bucket how we are going to save the metadata into the dynamo db okay so this will be our first project second project will be the real world example on how we can schedule an sns topic okay how we can schedule an event okay with the help of sns okay then the third project which we are going to we are going to create how we can create an ec2 instance with aws cdk okay and the and the last last session which is very important how we can create an uh, alb creation with with the aws cdk okay so these are the three to four projects uh, which we are going to see in this master class okay so stay tuned and happy learning and do share the content if you find this content very useful thank you bye